Hi, my name is Morena Fredrickson. I'm the executive chef at Boca in Winter Park. I'm kind of new to Boca. It was established in 2009 in Tampa, in Hyde Park. So it's kind of a new company and um, yeah, it's growing. I'm South African. I was born and raised in South Africa. Um, traveled through Europe, fell in love with food and decided to leave my, my teaching career behind and become a chef. We are starting to get our meat from the Seminole tribe, which I'm really excited about because you know most of our meat comes from the Midwest. We have Uriah Farms. We do Dancing Goat, is a local cheese maker. Then we also have Sweetgrass Dairy. And yeah, there's a few that we're starting to acquire in, in growing the, the local production. That's exciting, isn't it? You walk in and the first thing you see is this, this vertical wall in the restaurant. And first of all, for me, it's convenient because if we need something, we literally pick it off the wall. So. You cannot get any more farm to fork than that. The second thing that I'm excited about, it's, it's a conversation piece. People come in, they want to know what it is. We can tell them who we are without being you know, intrusive and trying to push the local thing on them. Because there's nobody that comes into the restaurant and that's a, not say, hey, what is this? Why do you guys have you know, herbs and, and vegetables growing on the wall? So it's, it's fun, I love it. What makes it really nutritional, that it's fresh. It does not get picked somewhere in California and shipped thousands of miles to Florida. It's, it's in the soil. The, the moisture is in the plant. The nutritional value is right there on the forefront. I remember growing up on a farm and going into the garden and picking a fresh peach off the tree, biting into it and the juice running down your face. You don't see that if you go to a grocery store. I'm sorry, it doesn't happen because they pick it out of the prime and it gets refrigerated for hours or days. Local is fresh, local is flavor. I literally walk into the restaurant at 7.30 in the morning, go through all my product and say, what's available right now, what can I use? And for me as a chef, when I get that product that just came from a local farm, it's juicy, it's flavorful, you cannot compromise on that. And I, I, I choose not to compromise. The oyster bar is very popular. Uh, fresh shop oysters, four or five different oysters on the menu. They do a fish and chips that's delicious. We have a speakeasy upstairs. Special events is big. It's kind of like a, may I say dive bar, but kind of fun. It's very retro. So we do a lot of special events up there. Biggest thing is our product that we have available on our menu, our market. Our market is awesome. If you, if you look through the restaurant, we have an area that features market vegetables. You can actually come and buy some of the vegetables from us. We want to have that available. We have urban canning, do all our pickles and, and jams and jellies and mustards for us. It's available in our market. Our, all our cheese that's available on our cheese boards, we vacuum seal and we sell it to, to our guests. So I think that gives people that whole feeling of, hey, I'm not just coming to a restaurant. It's kind of like a little marketplace and introducing those local products to our guests. I want people to know there's a new chef in Winter Park. I'm a lady chef, I know what I'm doing, and I want to get people in here to enjoy amazing food. I would be happy to come talk to every table that comes in. I want to introduce myself to everybody. I want to create, this, create a sense of community. Everybody needs a local chef that they love. And I think they should come to Boca because they're gonna love everything we do here. So please come on in.